Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn about layouts in Qt GUI application. Now, layout helps you to optimize your space in your GUI application. So, whatever available space you have, layout will help you to optimize uh, the space to the maximum whenever you use one of the layout provided by Qt. So what I have done is I've created a sample project and I named it as a layouts demo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this main window.ui file here. Now to demonstrate layouts, first of all, I want to show you in this section, you can see there is our central widget inside our main window. And on the central widget, there is this icon, some kind of, uh, you know, grid icon here. And there is a red mark here. That means whenever you create your GUI application for the first time, it doesn't have any default layout, right? So this red mark here shows that there is no uh, layout uh, selected for your GUI application. Now, in order to uh, give any layout to your GUI application, you can see there are some layouts here. Vertical layouts, horizontal layouts, grid layout, and form layout, right? So these are the four most basic layouts in Qt you can use. Now, in order to provide a layout to your main window, uh, you may uh, want to, you know, drag and drop, uh, for example, one of the layout in your um, window. And you may think that this will be my layout. You can see, but it doesn't uh, go this red mark from here. That means still there is no layout for your application, right? So uh, the good way or the best way, I'm going to just uh, revert this change. And the good way of, uh, you know, adding a layout to your uh, main window is, first of all, drag and drop any widget in your uh, window. So you can see I have a push button here. And then right click on your main window. So right click on your main window and then here you have some options to choose. So from here you can choose uh, this layout in grid or layout in uh, form layout or uh, there is some more options like layout horizontally or layout vertically. So we are going to see all of them one by one. First of all, uh, we can uh, see the simple layouts, for example, vertical or horizontal layout. So let's see uh, the horizontal layout first. So just choose this option which says layout horizontally. And what it's going to do is it's going to, uh, you know, as the name suggests, horizontal layout. So whenever you pick and place any other, uh, uh, you know, widgets in your uh, window, you, they will be layout in horizontal manner or they will be stacked in a horizontal manner and as soon as you apply your layout you can see this red mark is gone here that means you have some layout in your main window now okay so now for example i want to uh, you know add more uh, buttons here they will be stacked horizontally right now there are some properties here we can use in order to optimize the space here so just select all the buttons here and for example we want all the button to take all the space here right now you can see you can uh, go to this property of all these button which says uh, size policy here right so in the size policy the horizontal policy is minimum and the vertical policy is fixed so vertical uh, you know size of these uh, button are fixed so we can change the size policy for example to the preferred you can you know play with these uh, options of these policies i'm just going to choose this one preferred and now you can say see uh, these buttons are taking you know full space of our uh, you know main window for example now I'm going to just uh, save my code 
and uh, run it so that we can see it in action so whenever i run it you will be able to see uh, how they work so this is our, our uh, window and when i resize my window you can see all the button sizes change it changes with my change uh, of size of this main window right so these are this is the benefit of uh, using a layout in your uh, GUI application. So they will help you to op optimize your space and make your uh, GUI more responsive, right? Of any size, right? Now, uh, there are some more uh, layouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert all the changes back by just uh, pressing Control Z. So all the changes will be uh, removed. And you can see now we are in the default stage, right? So vertical layout, uh, as you may have guessed, it will help you to uh, stack your widget vertically. So I'm going to remove this vertical layout. I'm going to take a push button here and then I'm going to right click on my uh, main window and I will choose layout. And this time I'm going to choose uh, layout vertically and I'm going to pick and place some more uh, push buttons here, right? And then you can just uh, select all these buttons and change these policy. By the way, uh, you just uh, can play with these, uh, you know, properties here for the button so that uh, you can see how they behave when you change these properties. And I'm going to change it to the preferred policy. Once again, I'm going to run my application and uh, let's see what happens they will uh, you know behave in the same manner but this is a vertical layout right so whenever you want to stack your widget in, uh, vertically you may want to use vertical layout okay now i'm going to once again uh, revert my changes and this time we are going to use the from layout as the name suggests these kind of layout are used to uh, prepare any form for example you have some uh, labels and added text and button you want to make some form for example logging form or registration form then you can use this form layout so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some labels here first of all I will take one label for now and uh, let me just um, uh, implement this layout first so right click on your form go to layout and choose this uh, layout called layout in form layout okay so you can see this is your form layout so you have some labels I'm going to take some labels here one two three and you can change the name of this label for example this is for some registration form you can change the name it, uh, as, uh, for example, name, uh, surname, for example, and age, or you can add more fields here, right? And you can use a line added. These all widget I'm going to explain in detail in the later video, what is line edit or uh, labels or other things. But uh, just for now, just uh, be patient and uh, I just want to explain you how these, uh, you know, layout works in Qt. So you can see I'm picking and placing these line edits here. So whenever you want to make a form kind of layout, then form layout is the best for you. So you can just, uh, you know, resize this and then just save your code. And run it and this will uh, become a form right so you see here and whenever I change uh, this this uh, you know edit text resize itself horizontally you can see right so this is how your form layout works right so I'm going to once again uh, revert all the changes here and now we are going to see the grid layout okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to once again take some push buttons here first of all one and I'm going to apply the grid layout so just go to layout and choose the grid layout and now you can uh, pick and place your widget in the form of grids right 
So for example, I want to do something like this. You can see there is a blue line at the left hand side. So this will place this button at the side of first button, right? Now you can pick and place uh, some more buttons here at the top, like here and here in the form of grids, right? And then I'm going to choose all the button, something like this. And for them, all the vertical policy is fixed. So I'm going to change it to preferred. So they will take whole space of our uh, layout. And then I'm going to save it and run it. So you can see uh, what happens when they are, uh, you know, executed. So you can see these sizes are changed at runtime for the button. Okay. Now, for example, I want to uh, mix the layout. So I want to have layouts inside the layout. This is also possible. So right now, my whole layout is grid layout. And now I want to uh, have some button or, or form layout inside uh, this grid layout. So I will drag and drop a form layout. And for example, I want it at the right hand side. So I will just pick and place at the right hand side. And you can see uh, the, this form layout is here, right? So I can uh, resize it, right? And now what I can do is I can, uh, you know, make a form out of them, right? So you can see whenever I change this uh, uh, size of this form, you can see the form here. So I'm going to just pick and place uh, really fast some uh, line edits in the form for example here and uh, the label for example so this is my label inside the form so one label two label and three label and also the line edit here and here okay so you can see when I change the size of uh, my window, these uh, layouts and widgets are automatically resized according to uh, their layout, right? So let's uh, run our uh, app and let's see how they work. So you can see now this is like fitting automatically, okay? You can uh, once again add some more uh, layouts here. For example, now you want uh, a vertical uh, layout here in just below your uh, form layout. So you can also add this here. Okay. So let's add it at the bottom and let's add it, for example, here itself. So what I want to say is you can, uh, you know, play with these layouts and uh, see how they works and uh, they could be really beneficial whenever you are designing your uh, GUI application. So always try to use them whenever you can so that uh, your uh, uh, GUI uh, application can be interactive and responsive and it can optimize all the space which you have in your uh, main window or any dialogue or any other widget, right? So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.